Well, 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 magandang araw sa inyo kaswabe. Today, it's 5.30pm. Welcome nga pala sa number one Filipino Luxury Rides Channel. It's me, Rico B for Rico Suave Channel. And on today's video, minarapat ko na dahil nandito na rin ako, nakita ko yung mga Lotus. We're in yung nakaraan. Ito yung binigyan natin ng review and test drive. Check it out because sa lahat ng Lotus family, ito ang pinaka-fastest, most quickest. This is the GT Evora 430. Pero kasama niya ang kanyang mga pinsan. Nandito ang Lotus Exige 410 Sport. We have the Elise Sprint 220. Aalamin natin ano nga ba ang maganda at may hahandog ng kanyang mga pinsan. Ang papansinin natin, una, ang pinaka-pricing niya. Ire-recite ko na sa inyo para alam nyo. Then, i-cover up natin ano yung difference sa styling niya pagdating sa engine specs, pagdating sa kanya-kanyang mga features. Kaswabe, this is not a review. Kasi pag-review, sinasabi ko talaga yung history katulad ng mga past ng mga materials natin. But this one is a garage tour ng Lotus Philippines dito sa Lotus Service Center. Magkano nga ba? Elise Spring 220. This one is 6.8 million pesos. Is this for you? Pero pag gusto mo na mas enhanced na Elise, you go to Exige. Because this one, ito ang aggressive version ng Elise which is yung Exige. 10 million pesos sa Evora na iba naman ng pamilya to. Ipinanganak bagong sibol. This one is more than 10 million because nasa 15 million pesos siya. Sobrang pawis lang ako ngayon dahil kinunan ko siya ng montage. Kinunan ko kung ano yung nasa interior niya para meron tayong material pero eto, dadalhin ko na kayo at iisa-isahin natin. Hindi na po ako gagamit ng wireless mic para mas komportable tayo at mas makagalaw tayo ng mabuti. Kukunan natin sila with uh, engine on na and even yung mga lights niya naka on para buhay na buhay naman yung pagkuha natin dito sa mga main machines natin from Lotus Philippines. So unahin natin po na in yung rear end muna ng family ng Lotus. As you can see, ang size niyan is small, medium, and large. Rear diffuser, flat black, titanium exhaust. Then ito ang styling sa lahat ng Lotus family. The turn signal light dito sa pinaka core ng rear lights. Then this one is the reverse lights, yung brake light, and you have a carbon fiber. Lahat dito is mid-engine. It has 220 horsepower. Sa Exige, big wing, which is this one is carbon fiber together with this window rear louver because functional yan, nandito rin ang makina. Kung makikita mo, it has a similarity because yung Elise, pag ginawa mong more aggression, you will get the Exige which has more power, mas more on racetrack performance. Carbon fiber rear diffuser and you have a single exhaust. Pupunain naman natin ang GT430. If you will compare against sa Exige, mas larger yung rear spoiler natin, yung big wing niya together with the trunk lead spoiler with Rear louver, which is functional, dahil lahat po yung carbon fiber and even the roof, carbon fiber. Larger size, rear diffuser, all carbon fiber. Makikita nyo po yan dun sa review ng GT430. Nagkaroon tayo ng full review. So ganyan kasuabe ang headlight styling, turn signal light, the daytime running lamps, 
high beam and low beam combination na dito strip of LED then turn signal hindi pa siya projector lamps halogen eto projector lamps this one is the Elise so meron silang similarity hindi lang to naka on turn signal light siguro madilim na ho pagpasensya nyo na quick engine specs lang tayo this one has 217 horsepower with 184 pound feet of torque ang max speed niya nasa 234 kilometers per hour kaya lang ang speed is 0 to 100 that's 4.6 seconds lang if you put in more power you will have this exige 410 it has 410 horsepower with 302 pound feet of torque max speed is 241 kilometers per hour 0 to 100 is a quick one 3.4 seconds new to the family it has 430 horsepower with 332 pound feet of torque ang max speed niya is 280 kilometers per hour 0 to 100 is 3.7 seconds we are not talking about the 0 to 100 we are talking about the top speed kung ano ang kaya niyang i-offer so this one is 280 more space this one is bigger para sa akin ang special feature you're longing for manual transmission you can get this and even manual transmission din but this one has more horsepower than this and you have that carbon fiber extension ng lip spoiler mas matapang ang itsura mas matindi ang mukha hindi mo lang pwede i-compare dito because this one is 15 million syempre mas medyo special ito pagdating dito pag tiningnan mo yung wing nila medyo mababa lang to compared doon sa isa na hanging talaga on air ready to glide with big amount of downforce nandun siya simple lang no? meron siyang rear spoiler pero cute one all of them are mid engine yung trunk nandoon pag inalis mo all of them are together in one place because nandoon ang engine and even yung cargo space engine cargo space engine cargo space if you're driving makikita mo doon sa likod expose yung mga makina niya kasuabe tour mo na kita dito sa interior styling ng isang Evora GT430 sa lahat kasuabe ng uh, unit natin dito sa tatlo ito ang pinakakomportable pagpapasok ka when you go in because mababaw lang ang lower seal and carbon fiber carbon fiber performance bucket seat solid then you have alcantara tapos with red stitching premium leather door panel ka suabe then alcantara ang steering wheel again very nice infotainment system it's not all about the technology kasuabe performance ang pinaka ino-offer ng Evora GT430 ang gauge clusters you have analog and digital speedometer display yan <laughs> this is the hardest part kasuabe pagpapasok ka hindi pwedeng mauna ang puwet you have to go in first using your right foot then dun ka palang papasok kanina nahirapan talaga ako you have leather then yellow stitching alcantara material then to open and close the window very simple gauge clusters you don't have an infotainment system kasuabe dito you have space for the passenger pag meron siyang mga gamit so sobrang simple this one is a manual transmission very nice yung mechanics niya dito sa loob so birang bira lang tayo nakakita niyan kasuabe yung shift knob we're in nakikita mo what's going on inside dito sa loob look at that very appealing and meron siyang clutch because manual transmission tayo pedals natin handbrake alcantara is a brand prevents you from sliding inside your steering wheel kaparehas ng GT340 alcantara sa steering wheel okay same thing when you go in kailangan mauna yung right foot natin this one has a manual transmission you have a bucket seat but this is also a carbon fiber very special you have alcantara seats with red stitching and the door panel ayan the exige mimics the elise dito alcantara and leather red stitching and nothing uh, so fancy about this ito ang <laughs> door handle mo to open the door 
ang liit-liit, very cute <laughs> engine and start button that's your gauge clusters walang pinagkaiba dun sa Exige 430 and no infotainment system again same lang sila ng interior styling kaswabe ang pinagkaiba medyo dun sa door panel okay So kung magpasalamat kay Ma'am Debbie Fuentes because she is my contact person dito sa Otoha Group. If you are interested with this Lotus machines, please contact Ma'am Debbie. If you see value in this channel, please don't forget to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. Gagawin ko ang lahat para sa aking mga kaswabe subscribers, okay? Kahit super late na, if I have the chance para makapagatid sa inyo ng magandang content, gagawin ko as of today, ako lang wala yung cameraman natin pero it didn't bother me this one is just a garage tour mamili ka na lang kung anong option mo this one are all available here in Lotus Philippines always remember that this channel offers luxury rides and pag part ka ng kaswabe team malakas ang yung dating